What is up everyone? Killer Shrew fan here and I hope you're all doing well. I'm sure you all miss the sound of my voice. I do want to apologize right off the bat for the lack in content in the past few weeks, months. Ooh, I am so sorry. But thank you for sticking with me through that. Um, I've just been very busy with uh, projects and work and all that sort of stuff. It's kept me from doing these reviews for you guys. But I do, I do want to tell you, I have recorded a few other reviews. I'm just yet to put them together for you guys. But they will hopefully be up for you sooner rather than later. Uh, the reason I'm sitting down today to do a little uh, session for you guys is because we have got some very big news news out of the dinosaur toy collecting community and that is of course Safari Limited has just dropped um, their 2019 lineup. Now this year they did something different when they uh, they were sending out a few figures to certain YouTube channels um, to sort of premiere them early. Um, we've already seen a Carnotaurus, Camarasaurus, Prestosuchus, Woolly Rhino, Styracosaurus and then some sort of Oviraptorid that I the name escapes me right now. Um, so we've already seen some of them, but Safari Limited had a whole group still up their sleeves waiting to reveal them for us, and they just did that today. And I'm sure all of you have already seen them by now, I'm a little late to the game, or um, have already formed opinions, or have already heard what other people are saying about this uh, year's lineup, because, my goodness, this year is certainly a divisive one, uh, if you ask me. Um, I am seeing a lot and I mean a lot, like for Safari Limited, a lot of negative feedback on these models. And, and at the same time, I'm seeing people defend certain models, uh, decry other ones, while other people will decry the models someone else is defending while defending the models they're decrying. So it's it, people are like just all over the place with this year's models. Like it doesn't feel like there's um, a straight out man, you know, one that, I, I, well, there might be, and we'll get to that, but it feels like some people are really on board, some people really aren't. Safari Limited is kind of leaving us a little lukewarm this year. Um, so I just wanted to weigh in with uh, my thoughts, because let's be honest, the old Killer Shrew fan's thoughts are the one that count, right? I'm just kidding, of course. But uh, in true Killer Shrew fan fashion, we are going to kind of take a quick look at these. I'll tell you if they're a hit or a miss for me, and uh, let you decide from there. So to start off, I'm just going to kind of br uh, brush over this one. We have got a Wooly Rhino. Now those of you who are not new to my channel know that I don't roll with the prehistoric mammals. I don't really touch those. I don't collect those. I don't review those. They're not my thing, so I'm not going to sit here and talk about this one. But if you are into prehistoric mammals, this Wooly Rhino appears to be the only one that Safari Limited is doing for 2019. A uh, far cry from what they did last year when there was like half mammals, half dinosaurs. Good and bad news for me because I get more dinosaurs, bad news because I have to spend more money. But overall, this Wooly Rhino doesn't look half bad if you're into that. Um, this might be the guy for you. But uh, first up on the dinosaur list, we have the Camarasaurus. This guy is two thumbs up for me. I absolutely love this model. Um, obviously, this is one that we've already seen before, but when I saw it get unboxed, I was instantly smitten with it. I love the texture that they got going on. The coloration, though dull, is applied in such an interesting way. Uh, it's kind of like a perfect balance between doing something old and something new. And when I say that, I mean the coloration and the pattern reminds me of the old Carnegie Brachiosaurus, but they've kind of taken that look and gotten to another place with it. And I love the pose. Everything about this is working for me. It's, it's, it's a big boy. It's a 13 and a half inches long. Um, which isn't huge by any stretch of the imagination, but it is the largest um, and only sauropod that we are getting this year, and I love large sauropod toys, as you all know. So this guy, definitely a thumbs up. Now the website says it will retail for about an 18, it, not about, for 18.99 US dollars, and it is coming soon. What does that mean? Well, I talked to a guy who is a vendor for these um, toys. The um, Camarasaurus will be available in November, so you got a little time to uh, start saving your pennies there. But uh, next up on the lineup, if my uh, computer here will uh, cooperate, here we go. Next up on the lineup, we have got a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This guy is one thumb way down. This is, of course, a repaint of the Tyrannosaurus Rex that has been in the Safari Limited loop for years now. I mean, a lot of us grew up on this particular sculpt of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and because of that, I feel like there's going to be some nostalgia factor playing into this. People will want to buy this simply because it is the Rex that shaped their childhood. 
but overall, this is just the laziest thing Safari Limited could have done. They have so much momentum going forward, and instead of just carrying that, um, they just decide to putter out and give us a repaint, which is not okay to me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the colors aren't bad. They remind me of the Buck Rex from The Lost World, so that's kind of cool, but seriously, they just released a T-Rex two years ago. That was fantastic. Um, granted, it might have been a little over feathered for some people, but it was still a fantastic model. And if Safari Limited kind of wanted, wanted to walk the middle ground, they could have given us a re-sculpt like Collecta did with their feathered Rexes. But no, instead they just decided to do a repaint of their old Scaly Rex to uh, please the Scaly Dinosaur fanboys and girls. Um, which uh, I'm not okay with. I'm really not. It's lazy, it's uninteresting, and it's just... Uh, this is a complete disappointment, but for those of you who are interested, it will be available in November and retail for $7.99. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that one. It's just a uh, total letdown. Next up, we have got a Stegosaurus. This one, for me, is half a thumbs up. I'm not sure what it is about it. It just doesn't ring with me. I mean, I think it's awkward looking a little bit, kind of proportionally awkward. Uh, I will say I like the color palette, and from certain angles, I think this guy is pretty darn awesome. I saw someone say it was based on a very complete and up-to-date uh, reconstruction of the Stegosaurus named Sophie or something like that. It started with an S. And, you know, Safari Limited is known for making the most scientifically accurate dinosaurs they can, um, so I don't doubt that this is a well-done stegosaurus by any means. It's just something about it. Maybe it's just its pose or its proportions or its shape that just isn't gelling with me. Um, I don't know, I might be alone in that. Uh, I'm sure this guy has, or gal has um, its fans. Um, obviously, me being the completest um, with lack of self-control that I am, I will be buying it and reviewing it, but I don't know. It's it's nothing too exciting for me. It could go either way. I could take it or leave it. Um, for those of you interested, this Stegosaurus will be available in January and will retail for $24.99 US dollars. Next up, I said it before, there was one outman that seems to be getting the most hate, and that is, of course, the Spinosaurus. Um, I'm going to come out and say it. I don't hate the Spinosaurus. Um, I don't love it either. I mean, um, it's the, the, the a, a common theme that I'm seeing is people are saying they don't like the swimming posture. That's fair because recently I I just love I just love when, when people try to make toys of the Spinosaurus. They try to make them as updated and accurate as they possibly can, but that thing is such a mess. Like every it feels like every year something new comes out about the Spinosaurus and we learn more and more about it and so there it's like impossible to make an updated toy of it without it becoming instantly obsolete like a few months down the line. Um, but yes, it is in that swimming pose which uh, there was an article published recently that kind of debunked it as a semi-aquatic dinosaur. Um, whether or not that's true it remains to be seen, but yeah, I, I, I'm sure Safari Limited was just too far into um, production with this model to kind of change gears and fix that, and that's leaving a lot of people a little cold. Another issue I'm seeing is the detail. This is a 14 and a half inch model, so it is a very big model, and yet the scaling is absolutely massive on such a large creature. Like, these are very well defined areas of crocodilian scales, and a lot of people are saying that's just too much detail for such a large model of such a large species. Um, I don't know, that doesn't really bother me. I mean, I like detail on my sculpt, so I can, I, I'm fine with it. And another thing people bash a lot about this guy is the paint job. Um, I don't mind it. You know, I mean, overall, I don't mind this figure. I think it's it's by far the coolest Spinosaurus that's um, out right now, save for the um, Jurassic Park version Papo um, dinosaur. Um, but I don't know. I think this could please a lot of people. I think a lot of people are just 
so picky about this particular species since it's so rarely done right. But hey, l um, let's be honest, is this really any worse than the last Spinosaurus that Safari Limited gave us? Yeah, that ridiculous one? Yeah, no, I, I think... I think this is definitely a step in the right direction, and for those of you who aren't happy with it, uh, take heart, Schleich is also releasing a updated Spinosaurus as part of their 2019 lineup, so uh, there's that to look forward to at least. Now, I don't know if I already said it, but this guy is going to re retail for $24.99 US dollars and be released in January of 2019 as well. Next up in the lineup, we have got a Pteranodon, and I gotta say, this one is a thumbs up from me. I mean, it's nothing incredible. I do love the coloration on the head with the um, orange and the white and the black stripes, and then the red bill going into the orange, and then the sort of um, more drab colors of the brown torso and cream underbelly. That's all working for me. The other thing that I really like about this Pteranodon is that it is in a terrestrial pose. And then so often you get companies that want to give them their arms flailing out as if they are soaring or gliding or flying or whatever, but that always just makes it so difficult to display them unless you hang them, which is always an inconvenience. Um, so I do like the terrestrial pose on this Pteranodon, and again, it is definitely an improvement upon uh, their past uh, Pteranodon. Uh, next up, we have got the... <laughs> Carnotaurus, wait a minute, I forgot something. The Pteranodon retails for $9.99 US dollars and be, will be available in January of 2019. Anywho, we have got the Carnotaurus. Now, for those of you who know me, you know that the Carnotaurus is my absolute favorite dinosaur. But I will say, this Carnotaurus only gets one thumbs up. Um, and even then, it might be because I'm such a fan of the species in general. There's just something about this guy that isn't gelling with me. I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously I'm still gonna get him. I feel like the snout is not deep enough. It could just be the angles of these photos. I mean, it looks deeper in some than it does in others. Um, the hands are way too big. Like, the arms feel right, but the hands are just, like, um, massive. And then the paint job is just kind of there. I mean, it's got a good design. I just don't like the bold transition from the orange of the head to the drab colors of the torso. I mean, no matter what on a Carnotaurus, I feel like they're always going to go for warmer colors. I, any toy ever, except for the Papa one of Carnotaurus, has warm colors. Like the Schleich version, this guy now, um, and uh, the, the new Mattel. The, the Carnotaurus in the Jurassic World movie has warm colors. Disney's dinosaur. I always warm colors with Carnotaurus, so I feel like that's a staple of the species. But it feels like Safari Limited couldn't decide what they wanted to do. They're like, oh, let's give it a more drab paint job. No, it needs to have this splash of color. And I, I it's kind of, it's kind of leaving me cold here. I, I, the paint job is far and away my least favorite element of this Carnotaurus. It looks like he's did his makeup and then didn't blend it out very well. Of course I say all this, this will certainly be one that I will swoop up and buy almost instantly. It's it's not a terrible figure by any stretch of the imagination. It's really just those hands. Those hands are probably my least favorite element. The snout I can live with. I think from the side it looks a lot better. But any to, anyway, to all those wondering, the Carnotaurus retails for $13.99 and will be available in October, just like the Camarasaurus, so uh, time to start saving up for that one. Next up, we have the Allosaurus. This one is a thumbs up. Um, now, the original Allosaurus from Safari Limited, I didn't mind that one. This one seems like a nice uh, breath of fresh air. I love that Safari Limited loves to update their models. Unfortunately, sometimes they get carried away with that and that's all they do uh, instead of giving us new species. But I do love the fact that they are, when they do update their models, for the most part, they take it in the right direction. This Allosaurus is certainly a step in the right direction. I love how muscular and proportional this guy looks. There's no shrink wrapping going on. Uh, he looks like a slimmed down version of the T-Rex. So often you see Allosaurus and he's it's very shrink wrap, very lip, uh, lanky dude. But this one definitely has some beef to it. And I do like that. The red crest looks fantastic. The color scheme is great. Safari Limited does a great job with their whites. They ring it with a bold color to make it stand out all the more. And I think they did a great job with this guy. And the pose is nice and active. 
as if squaring up with an adversary. So this might be a good one to pose next to that new Stegosaurus. Um, I, I am excited about this one. Retails for $14.99 and will be available in January. So you got a little more time to wait for that guy. Next up, this is my possibly my favorite of this year's lineup. You have got the Styragosaurus. Two thumbs up for this guy. I don't know what it is, but no matter what, whenever Safari Limited does a Ceratopsian, they knock it out of the park. Like, and I, they're obviously all done by the same sculptor. I don't remember his name, but this Styracosaurus is no exception. Absolutely beautiful. The color scheme is nice and bold. Um, just beautiful. Beautiful sculpt work, beautiful detail, beautiful forms, beautiful paint job. This guy has got me very excited. $12.99 US dollars and will be available in October. So yeah, my first three hits, the Carnotaurus, Camarasaurus, and uh, Styracosaurus will all be available right at the same time. And uh, coincidentally, I will be broke at the same time. Next up, we've got a species that I have never heard of. The only new species to Safari Limited this year, the Cita C the City Patty, City Patty, is that it? I, I could be wrong. Someone collect me in the or correct me in the comments. Um, this one is a half a thumbs down for me. Uh, no, 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 you know, half a thumbs up. Um, uh, the sculptural details are pretty much what you would expect. Very well done for Safari Limited. Like their Anzu last year. Ooh, they even got the teeth in there. That's nice. I didn't even notice that at first. Yeah, um, just like um, their Anzu last year, the sculptural details are absolutely incredible. The paint job, on the other hand, is abominable. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's so ugly. I mean, I think I like it better than the Anzu overall. And you can tell that Safari Limited was uh, referencing Birds of Paradise with these, or not Birds of Paradise, like the species, but actual like parrots and stuff like that with this um, color scheme. It's just so garish and ugly. I, I don't know what it is, but something about seeing parrot colors on anything but a parrot really throws me. I mean, I could be alone in this, but this paint scheme is not gelling with me, and this will probably be one of the last ones that I end up getting, if I even get it at all. For those of you who are fans of this city, city patty, Satapi, whatever, uh, he will be available in October and will retail for $11.99 US dollars. And finally, last but not least, we've got the Prestasuchus. This is one that we all knew was coming because of the uh, Safari Limited's campaign this year to kind of premiere a few figures early. Um, when I first saw this, I thought it was a Postasuchus. I was quickly corrected. It's a Prestasuchus. I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Um, it's definitely, I like it a lot more than their uh, other early reptile from last year, the Dimetrodon. This one looks a lot better than that, in my opinion. The detail is what we expect for Safari Limited. The paint job, very eye-catching and well done. There's nothing really I see that is wrong with this figure, at least in my book. Uh, I think this one looks very good. And even though I don't really go for the early reptiles as often as I go for the dinosaurs, this might be one that I just have to get. It retails for $10.99 US dollars and will be available in, where is he? October. So another one, I might have to hold off on that one. But that is all that we have in terms of the Safari Limited lineup for this year. Now, I'm looking at the lineup from last year, the Regali, the Triceratops, the Ankylosaurus, T-Rex, uh, Margosaurus, Malawisaurus. Overall, I think this is the better year, I will say. I mean, there's more variety of dinosaurs. It's not just two sauropods, two ceratopsians, um, and such and such. There's a wide range of species. You've got uh, Chimera, you've got a sauropod, a stegosaurid, a spinosaurid, an abelisaurid, uh, you know what I mean, the Carnotaurus family. You've got a Ceratopsian, an Oviraptorid. You've got a nice variety of dinosaurs. The paint schemes, for the most part, are all very lovely. Um, the uh, sculpt work, very well done. It's just a few choices that Safari Limited made this year. Um, namely, a certain repaint and um, other such things, such as proportion and overall poses, like... The, the Spinosaurus feet, um, the overall proportions of the Stegosaurus, things like that that are really, I think, are ticking people off. And overall, 
I don't think it's worth getting your pants in a knot about. I mean, these are all very well done figures. I'm not like overly disappointed with any of them. Any of the new figures, we'll put it that way. I'm not super disappointed with any of them. Um, and I, for one, will be getting most of these, if not all of them, because I have no self-control and I hate myself, and I will be, of course, reviewing them for you down the road. As always, I would love to hear what you guys think of these models. Love them, hate them, which one's your favorite, which one's going to be the first that you buy, which one are you most looking forward to, what were you hoping Safari Limited to do? Did you get your wish this year? What are you hoping for next year? Leave all of your thoughts down in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed our discussion review today, don't be afraid to let us know by hitting that like button on the way out. And if you enjoyed hearing from us and want to do so again in the future, don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Lots more review videos and coming your way. And shortly here, I'm sure Papa will be releasing their lineup and collecta. And we'll have to talk about those for you. Thanks again so much for tuning in. And that's going to do it for us today. All right. Kill a Shrew fan out.